Exactly. Tonar Abona, Minayin Sheba Shofar. How do you know Rosh Hashanah? You blow a shofar. Talmud Lomar. Vavarta Shofar Trua. That post was written by, by Yovel. Right? You should pass Shofar Trua. Ainly, I'll be over Rosh Hashanah, Minayin, Talmud Lomar, Chodesh Hashvig. Because it's Chodesh Hashvig. Even though it says Yom Kippur, Chodesh Hashvig is what? It's superfluous. It's superfluous. It shouldn't say Chodesh Hashvig. So why does the right Chodesh Hashvi go to Yovel? That all the blasts that the Torah says you have to have during Chodesh Hashvi has to be with a shofar. How do you know that it has to be preceded with with a tekiah? Talmud Lomav Havarto Shofar Trua Havarto. Right? The Havarto Shofar Trua. So the Havarto, which is the extending of the blast, precedes the Trua. How do you know Pshuta follows? Talmud Loma, Taviru Shofar. Once again, it says Taviru. These Pshukim are what? Taviru Shofar. That's written by Yovel. Again, how do we know it all supplies to Rosh Hashanah? Pshuta Lefone, Pshuta Lachreo. Right? Talmud Loma, Bachor Shashvi. Again, same same basis. Shein Talmud Loma, Bachor Shashvi. What? Or she should be written. Ma Talmud Loma, Bachor Shashvi. Shu Kol Truos HaChodesh. They all be the same. So just as in Yovel has to be predicated on a tkiyah and followed by a tkiyah, same thing in Rosh Hashanah. How do you know you have to have all three by either one? Talmud Loma, Vaharat, or Shofar. We're talking about Malchis or Shofars. That you have to blow a set to each one of them. Talmud Loma, Vaharat, or Shofar, Trua. So it mentions it once. Shabos and Sichron, Trua, again. Yom Trua, it says Trua three times. So you know it. You have to have three times each time. Two of them are written by Rosh Hashanah. One's written by what? By, by Yovel. How do we reply what's written by one to the other, the other by the other? Tamalomar, Shvi, Shvi, Lugzer Shavu. Shvi, Shvi. Zer Shavu says Shvi by Yovel. It says Shvi by Rosh Hashanah. So whatever applies to one applies to the other. So what are three? So if you have... Each trua is predicated on a trua, a tkiya followed. So altogether, how many blessed do you have? You have nine, right? You have three truas, and each trua has two bef- one before one after, so you have nine. So it's a shalosh, shalosh. Okay, it's a shalosh ain't tesha. Right, so you have three, which are nine. Shirat tkiya. What is the length of the tkiya, of the unbroken blast? Kitrua. It's the length of a trua. What is a trua? Shir trua kishloshe shvorim. The three you shvarim, okay? High Tana, so Mori asks now, High Tana, Mikora, Maisi, Loa, Bekesha. Initially it says, how do we know what applies to Yovel, applies to Roshana? Because it says, Chodesh Ashvi. Because the Torah juxtaposes Chodesh Ashvi to Yovel, right? So that tells me that all the tkiyas and everything that happens during Shvi, they're all the same. That's how we learn Rosh Hashana from Yovel. How do we know it's a, the, the horn is a shofar? Maybe it's something else. Again, we learn that from Yovel. We're going to get that at the end of the p- p- page. No, we, we, don't, we didn't get that yet. We didn't get that yet. That's something else. That's something else. Tiny Sim is something else. Right now we're talking about Yovel. Tiny Sim is a rabbinic law. R- rabbinic. And you don't need a show if you can do it with a chatzot. You do it with a trumpet. Yeah, Rosh Hashanah and Yovel, you blow Rosh Hashanah. And Yovel. No, you can't don't blow chauffeur. We're talking about here Yom Kip, uh, Yovel. Yovel is the exact same blowing of Rosh Hashanah you blow on, on Yovel. You haven't heard it yet because we have Yom Kippur Yovel. The Yovel of Yom Kippur. No, regular Yom Kippur not. Okay? So Mar says, Hashtra, Maishlok, Zerushova. Right? Initially it says we learn it from a Hekish. Right? Then it concludes. And how do we know that? We learn it says Shvi Shvi. Oh, oh, so that's where it is. Holy Kama. I love Xerishova. If I wouldn't have the Xerishova, have I my seen all the Bekesha? Then I would have I would have relied on the Hekish. Hashta da Ashi, but Xerishova, Hekish lo Tzorich. But now that I have the Xerishova, I don't need the Xerish. I don't need the Hekish. Vay Tano Maslo Xerishov Midbar. That was the first Tano. We have another Tano that learns it from the Midbar. The whole idea of what? Tchilu Fanet Tchilachreo. 
and how many times you have to blow. Titania, it says by the by the chatzotros, right? By the trumpets. Skatem trua. You should give a blast of trua. Tkiyo bifnei atzmo, utru bifnei. So skatem means tkiyo, and trua means tkiyo, trua. So that means you have a tkiyo and then a trua. So, uh, so now it's not so simple. Maybe skatem is a verb. It's not a noun, right? As we're explaining it, right? You have a tkiyo and then a trua by the chatzotros. It means tkiyo, you should blow a trua. But the word skatem doesn't mean a tkiyo, the unbroken blast should precede the trua. So Mara says, Kish Omer, Kish Ubahakilas Akol Tisko, but it says when you want to blow the blast to gather the people, it says Tisko. What's the, the word Tisko means? Unbroken blast. Velo Tariu. He says you should be Tisko and not b- blow the broken blast. So what do we see from there? So we see from there the word Tisko, so means unbroken. So therefore, when it says before, Uskatem Trua, Skatem means. The unbroken blast which precedes the trua. Have you omit kill with neatsum or true with neatsum? Nice of shooter le for neuch. And how do we know the tr- the shooter precedes the trua? Tamalobo scatem trua, because we've already established what does scatem mean? The word scatem means unbroken blast. Because it says, it says, when you gather them, you should tisco and you should not be to real. Uminayam shooter, lachred. How do we know the shooter follows the trua? Tabaloba trua yiskau, because we know yiskau already means unbroken, and the, it says trua yiskau. So the yiskau, the tkiya, is following the trua. Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Shmuel ben Oshar, Rabbi Yochan broke Omer. Eno tzorich. You don't need all this. You don't need that to know the 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 trua the tkiya that follows. You don't have to quote the pasuk skua uskatim. Excuse me, trua yiskau to tell me that the tkiya follows the trua. It's, it's almost before she in the Pasuk. It's explicit. It says, but you should blow a trua shenis. The word shenis, shen tamud lomar. It shouldn't, the word shenis is unnecessary. Ma tamud shenis. So what is the right shenis? So this is to teach us. So Rashi says, what shenis? It means shenis. Volchem, skatim tkia shenis le trua. You should, it should be secondary to the trua. That means first the trua, follow with the tkiya. And from here we learn, that the tkiya always has to follow it. So now we have a problem. How, how, what, what relevance does Midbar have to, to Rosh Hashanah? We're learning from Midbar, from the, from the trumpets, to Rosh Hashanah. El Midbar, ain't El Midbar, Rosh Hashanah, mean, I tell you, trua, trua, gzera, shova. The trua that's written by Rosh Hashanah says trua. By the Chatzos says trua. So I learned trua, trua. Xer Shava. Okay, Mishol is trua's name. Rosh Hashanah. We, were, we find the word trua mentioned three times. It says Shabbos and Zichron trua. It's one. Yom trua. One second. So that's again, that's Rosh Hashanah. Vavarta Shova trua. That's already, that's written by Yovel. Right? By Yovel. Ushtet kius, l'chol achas v'achas. And you have two tkiyas accompanying each trua. So I have three truas, right? And I have two tkiyas accompanying one preceding one after. Motzino the maidim shalosh truo. So how many broken blasts do I have? I have three. Vishesh tkiyas and three and six unbroken. Okay? Now, Vishesh. Kiyas nemru broshana shtayim. Excuse me. Nemru broshana shtayim. Midivri Torah. Vach diri sofrim. A Rosh Hashanah, how many times do we have Rosh Hashanah? Only we have two Pesuk by Rosh Hashanah, right? One is, is Drabonon. One is Drabonon. What, what is, what's the Doraiso? It says, Shaboson, Zichron, Shua, Vavar to Shofa, Shua, Midibri Torah. Yom, Shua, yeah, it says, Shua, three, it says, it should be a day of Shua. Yeah, Lochem, Letalmudu, but that's coming to learn because I have Xerah Shavah. If the word trua is learned to Xerah Shava, that means I need it, I can't use it to learn out that you need a third trua. That's to equate this to that. Okay? So I only have, so what do we have, what do we do three times? Rabbinical. Twice the Raisa, once is rabbinical. Reb Shmuel Bar Nachmoni Omar, no. Omar Reb Yorosan, 
Achas Medivri Torah, only one's on a Torah level. On a Torah level, you all have to blow Tkia, Trua, Tkia. That's it. Shtai Medivri. The other two are rabbinical. Why? What's the reason? What's the argument? Vavar to Shova Trua Medivri Torah. It says you should pass Shova Trua. That's, where's that written? That's written by Yovel. Shabbos is a Trua, Vyom Trua Yelechem the Talmud. That's all Limud. The other two psukim I need for a limit. One is Gzeri Shabo, and the other we'll see in a moment. What do I need for? Le Tamudu Bo. Michael Tamudu Bo. What is it coming? Mi boy, Biyom Velo Belaylo. To tell me, it says, right? No, Yom, that the, the, the obligation to blow is only during daytime, not at nighttime. Vidoch, so the other one learns two is the Oraiso. So how does he know that you can only blow the Shabbat during day and not nighttime, right? Vidoch, Biyom Velo Belaylo Menole. Nafte, Biyom Akipurim. Because Yom Kippur. Just as Yom Kippur, it's during the day. The Kippur Yolaf Nigma Nami Mine Lipshut Lefone Lipshut Lachrel. She says once already we learned from Yom Kippur. What do we have to learn from Midbar? We're learning from the desert. Learn from you're learning from Yom Kippur in either case, right? Vavarta Taviu Lo Mashvlo. He says because the reason why he has to come out to Midbar. How do we know that Pshuta? Because it's Taviru. You should extend it. Extend means unbroken. He holds, he disagrees. That, that it has that connotation, that it means unbroken, not. So what does it mean, Havarto? Well, so what does it write, Havarto? You should pass the Trua. He doesn't learn it means unbroken blast. Havarto, Kidrav Masto, the Omer of Masto, Havarto, Der Havrosa Taviru. Yeah. The Komer Achmono. What does it mean? That when you blow it, you should blow it the way it's on the head of the, of, the, of the animal. You shouldn't blow it the other way, from the wider mouth side to the narrower, even if you reform it, reshape the chauffeur. Right? Vavarto der chavoso taviru. Vavarto der chavoroso. Taviru, what does it mean? Taviru, the kamrachmono, nabri biyad. Because you would have thought maybe the mitzvah is only to carry it with your hand. Who said it means to blow, period? Right? That's... Havarto der chavrosa taviru. Taviru means kamrachmono nabri biad. So Rashi says, lamute nabri biad vilab the hod the kosveig lo havi mishdam taviru lo shentki. I wouldn't know it means to blow it. So therefore it says has they trua. The avora doesn't mean carry the shofar. It means you should what you should blow the shofar. And how do you blow it? You blow it the way it's on the animal's head. I mean the narrow side. That's where you blow from. Doctor Rav Masno, and how does he know Rav Masno? The Rav Masno said that it's what that it's only a blow from the narrow side, not the that. Midshani bidibure, right? That the Torah uses shani bidibure taviru biyad lamotzes amrit to gomer avora avora. Mi Moshe, that is not even a consideration to think that you sh- what the Torah says you carry the shofar. Why? Ksiv ho ho havar to shofar. Yeah. It says Havor here, and it says by Moshe Ve'aviru. And what does Ve'aviru mean by Moshe? It says Kol. They, they bl- let the blast go throughout the camp. So now we have another question. If you're learning from the desert, the, the blast, and it has to be preceded and followed by a, what? By a tkiyo. So maybe you sh- who says you need a chauffeur? You, you use a, a trumpet, a trumpet, right? Laitana meisl midbar imal halom bechatzotzos afkam bechatzotzos. Talmud lomar. There's a pasuk until tiku b'chodesh shofar bekesli umchagenu. So co- comes out according to this. Eze chodesh sha chodesh miska. Eze chag sha chodesh miska sebo. What chag that at the beginning of the month the moon is covered? Havi omer zeh rosh hashanah. So what does it say? Tiku b'chodesh shofar b'kesa. On the on the kesa, you should use a shofar. Come on a shofar. Now it's interesting. Comes out. So how, how does David know it? If you're learning from midbar, maybe it's with trumpets. So according to Pesach Tilim, but how does David know? So you have to say it's Halach Lomash Misinai. Because if it's we we'll learn it from we said before from Yom Kippur. So once you learn from Yom Kippur, you learn everything from Yom Kippur. So evidently, when we bring the Pesach from Tilim. David knew it. You have to say it's halachah You understand what I'm saying? 
David said it. Therefore, where did David get it from? If he got it from Midbar, you have the same question. Maybe it's Chatzotros, maybe it's trumpets. So what he learned, he learned from Yom Kippur. That's the first way. So if that's the case, I don't even start in. So once you have Yom Kippur, I don't have to quote the Pesach from Tilim. Because just as Yovel is what is chauffeur, which is explicitly, Rosh Hashanah is chauffeur. So evidently, this the Gemara holds that it's Halachim Shem Sinai. Now, asking Rebavo Bekesri, Rebavo was the chief rabbi of Kesri. Kesri, you know, that's the fancy neighborhood up north. Tekiyo Shlosh, what is Tekiyo? Judah, this is for you. Tekiyo Shloshet Tvori, Tekiyo Shloshet Shvorim, excuse, Tekiyo Shloshet Shvorim, Trua Tekiyo. Yeah? This is what we call Tekiyo Shvorim Trua. Tekiyo Shvorim Trua Tekiyo. Why? Because one of Shach, Sumer says. We have a question. Wh why do you have a shvarim? Because either we said, the word said earlier was when a person sobs from 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 his really expressed like a groan, it's longer. It's not a staccato. When a person starts sobbing, it's like short. That's the trua. So he says, if trua means yaluli yolil, if trua means sobbing, right? Leovid, leovid, trua. Tkia, trua, tkia. Well, what do you need the shvarim? Vigenuchi ganich, and if it means groaning, if the word trua means groaning, love it, tkia, shloshet shvarim, tkia. It should be tkia shvarim trua, tkia. Right? You shouldn't have trua in there. And that the verse is besafkalei. Rabbi Ho was, wasn't sure when the Torah says trua sa, does it mean groaning or does it mean sobbing? Besafkalei, genuchi ganach ilu yolu. Okay, you hear this? It's not a verse of phenomenal question. Now. The Torah requires a tkia, and what should follow the tkia? Trua. If let's say trua means sobbing, and you blow a shvarim after the tkia, so you have a separation between the tkia and the and and and, and the trua, it's a problem. And if you hold, it means shvarim, and not groaning and not sobbing, so then you have a, a, an interruption between the closing tkia and what and, and the and the shvarim. See, but so that's the most question now. Maskev lo Rebbe Vira, v'dilma yulule havi. Maybe I'll tell you true means groaning, right? Excuse me, sobbing. So if that's the case, kamavsik shloshi shvarim bein true litkia. So the shvarim is interruption between the opening tkia and and the and the true. So Mar says da David kia. So he says eno chanami. Because of that, you know what you know what Rebbe Vo had. In addition to blowing kia shvarim, that he of it kia true kia, he did it separate. Because of that problem. I mean, he, when he said he did that, it wasn't only that. He did kia shvarim true kia. So we have this problem, but maybe it means only true. It doesn't mean shvarim. So there's a separation between the opening kia and the true, because it's separated with the shvarim. So he says to, to, to address that. He blew a separate tkia true tkia, without the shvarim. So Mar asks the other way now, but maybe maskev lo ravina v'dilma gnuche hava v'kom mafsko true ben shvarim the tkia. But what about? But maybe what's in the middle means when the Torah says true, it means groaning. So if it's groaning, so what groaning is shvarim. But he blew shvarim true tkia. So now you have a separation between the shvarim and the closing tkia. So you know what the main answer is? You know something? They blew that also. They blew a tkia, shvarim tkia. So he blew three different types of blasts. Tkia, shvarim tkia. Tkia, true tkia. Tkia, shvarim true tkia. Wait a second. Do the other tashat, he did afterwards. Tkia, shvarim true tkia. El Rabavo, my asking. So what did Rabavo do? Igadu chigona, choavde. Igadu choavde. Misafka, the answer is he did a Dilma Gonach Viol, maybe it's both. Substatska, what do we need the combination? If it means his suffix is it either means groaning or sobbing. So if that's the case, what did he need the, the third combination of Shwarm Trua? No, 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 no. You need thirty. To cover this you need thirty. Right? Of course you need you need for Malchi Sakrona Shofros. And now you have to have a combination every one to make sure you're getting the right one. Correct? Yeah. That's the reason. Yeah. 
we do a hundred that's we had before Amish of Sisra because it says she sobbed a hundred times so Maria says he says what do we do so if that's the case it's always Shvarim precedes Shvarim Truat Kia so what do we do Truat Shvarim yeah why is it Shvarim Trua let it be Trua Shvarim hear this hear the question the question is what's in the middle is it true? Is it, is it just true? Is it shvarim? Or maybe it's both. So if it's both, why, do, why does the shvarim always have to precede the true? Let the true precede the shvarim. Have the nine staccato, and then have the, the, the shvarim. Right? But we don't do it that way. We do shvarim true. Why? So the answer is because. Dilma, Yalu, Vagonach, maybe a person. First sobs, then he groans. So Morris answers, Stomach and Milsa, Kimisra, Binchi, Milsa. When a person hears of something tragic, how does he usually start crying? First, he groans a few times, and then he starts sobbing. First, he groans, Bereshit, no Ganach, Vadiola, then he starts sobbing. Therefore, it's always Shvarim and then Shrua. Talk about Rishon Moshe Bishnia, right? Kishtayim. Let's say he blew the he, the closing of the first set, and he blew the tkiya. So he wanted the tkiya, the closing tkiya, to also cover the first tkiya. So he blew it twice as long. So what does it say in the Mishnah? It's considered one tkiya. Correct, Jonathan. You hear what's going on here? A person blows tkiya, shvarim tkiya. Now, the next set would be Tkia Trua. So he says, what do I have to stop? I'll just blow, blow it twice as long. So it'll, I'll, I'll address the closing, and it'll be the opening. So the mission says it's not valid. It's one. Even though the length is twice as long as you had it below, you have to separate between the closing and the opening. Okay? That's the Mishnah. On Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan is Shoma Teshit Tkiyas B'Teshit Shos B'Yom Yotso. Person heard nine Tkiyas over a nine period hour. Right? That Yotze. You don't have to hear them all together. No, no, no. Throughout the day, we do it immediately after one after another. No, you have to. No, we're talking about these are the nine. No, 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 no. no. Tasha. Tasha Tekius. Only nine. Right? We have nine, right? No, which means we're talking about three sets, not nine sets, three sets. So three sets is nine. So he blow one hour he blows Tkia, next hour he blows Shvarim, Shvarim or Chua, next hour he blows that. And like this he keeps going. So they were never together in one set. Yotze. Tanyami. We have a Bryce says, Shama Tesh Tkia's Patesha shows, be a Yotze. What about Tisha B'nei Odom, Be'achot? Let's see, nine people blow each one of them simultaneously, Lo Yotza. So Tosis explains why. Because the halacha is, if you hear them simultaneously, one has to precede the other. Right. What does he blow the Tchua before, before the Tchua? It's not valid. Right. So if you have nine people blowing at one time, the, the, either it's simultaneous or the Tchua, or the Shua may have preceded the, the Tchua. That's why it's Lo Yotza. That's why Tosis explains it. What happens if you have nine different people blowing? It's not a problem. You don't have to hear everything from the same person. Right? right? Where it was interrupted. Even though the nine people is over a full day. Right? So it's, it's a problem because the halacha normally, as we'll see in a moment, when you do something, it has to be finished within a certain period to, to, to associate one with the other. You're following Howard? Yeah. What? They will have to be together. Let's say the halach is, we'll discuss the The person's middle of Shemon Esrei, and you have to go out to the bathroom to your bodily functions. And the interruption, you didn't speak, the interruption of time was in the mouth that you could have said the whole Shemon Esrei from the beginning till the end. It invalidates the Shemon Esrei. That's called the Hefzik. So over here, Let's say normally you could blind nine blasts in ten minutes. And here he extends it over a day, over a whole day. So that means the separation, so let's say ten minutes, the separation one to another is, is an hour. 
So how do you combine them that you automatically invalidate the whole, the whole, the, all the sets? There's too much of a separation between one to the other. The other question. No, everything's determined by the way you normally say Shmon Esrei. So that's, that's the time period of your Shmon Esrei. No, because that's uninterrupted. Because your Shmon Esrei is uninterrupted. Here you interrupted it. So if the interruption is the equivalent, you could have said the whole Shmon Esrei, the whole Shmon Esrei is not valid. So over here, if you blow all nine blasts, let's say in ten minutes, twenty minutes, and he has an hour break from one to the other, it definitely should invalidate it because one is, has no relevance to the other one. That's the Mar's question. Mar asks, Omre Biochan, excuse me. Omre Biochan, Omre Biochan, Hochi, did Rabbi Yochan say this? Omre Biochan, Mishum Rabbi Shimmy Yotzodok. Rabbi Shimmy said, Rabbi Yochan said, Name Rabbi Shimmy Yotzodok. Ha u Bahalulub in Megillah. Person's reading it saying Halil. Or Megillah Sester. No, Megillah Sester. If Shokede Ligmar Skula, Hosel Rosh. If there was an interruption, let's say you read the first chapter. Of, of the Megillah, and then you take a break where you could have read the whole Megillah. When you come back, you just have to start from the beginning. So we have a problem. So how could Rabbi Yochanan say, even though it's extended over a nine-hour period, all the various blasts are combined, <coughs> it's a hefsig, right? That it's an interruption. Lukasha, hodi de hodi rabbi. When he said it's a considered, you have to start from the beginning. He's saying that in the name of Rabbi Shimi which is his Rebbe. But, but him, him personally, he held, no, it's not considered a hefsig. Versus but they low. I mean, his personal opinion is not this way. Rabbi was walking behind Rabbi Yochanan. And he was saying, Shema, Kimotel Vus Putun Ofisishtik. When he came to an unclean, uh, an unclean uh, alleyway, he stopped. Yeah? Bossed the Cholif. After he passed through its unclean location, which he wasn't permitted to say the Shema, right? So Rabbi Vo asked Rabbi Yochanan, could I complete it now? Or maybe I have to go back to the beginning? So Rabbi Yochanan said to Rabbi Vo, If in fact the interruption was that you could have said the whole Kriya Shema, then you have to stop at the beginning. So if that's the case, you see Rabbi Yochanan concurs with his Rebbe, that what? That if the interruption is to such a degree, it invalidates everything. So how could Rabbi Yochanan say over a nine-hour period, we combine all the various blasts, it should be considered a hefsig? Right? Good question. Hochi Kamali. He says, this is what he, this is what he said to Rebbe Vo. Lidi di lo According to my position, the way I pass it's not a problem. Vodli di doch, but you, Rebbe Vo, follow the position. of min yotzadok. Right? The svir lo chim shis kledi merkula chazal arosh. Your position is like Rabbi Shimi So if that's the case, if the interruption was that you could have said the whole Kriyashma, then you have to go back to the beginning. Me, it's not a problem. So Rabbi Yochanan, La Locha holds, it's not a problem. But La Locha, we rule that what? It is a problem. Right? Except yet we you have to differentiate because the way we rule La Locha, when you go, when you're not permitted to do something, let's say person Middle Shema, so he stops, and he gets preoccupied in thought for, for, for half an hour. Even though he did the wrong thing, he doesn't have to go back to the English monastery. Why? Because halachically, he was permitted to continue. Right? No, 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 no. Because halachically, he could continue. It was his choice not to continue. When you go to your bodily functions, la lochi, you're not permitted to say the Shemon Esrei or the Kriya Shema. So if that's the case, there, you had no choice. You couldn't have gone. Here, I chose to be preoccupied in thought. But if I wanted, could have I continued? I could have. So if you could, that, there's a linkage. But if halochal, you cannot, then that's called a hefsig. So that's how we can differentiate. By the, show, by, by the, by the shofar or the unclean, right, there, if I would want to continue, I could continue. But here, I wasn't permitted. It was, it was being an unclean location.
important Tosas here. Because he has a problem. He says sometimes you have to wait through Shlich Tzib Kriyashma till he finishes. So it, 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 it's, a, you know, so he breaks up the, the Birchus Kriyashma. So why isn't it a problem that, that Tosas addresses? Mashat Tzibur they wait after Krishna, they wait for the Shlich Tzibur and say, Hashem Elokech Memes. The shows came out, she ignores the losos. Umi Chamocha, show me Begulo. The Hechosh ain't showing, the Ligmar Kulam, it's Chilos at Sof. He says, it's not a problem. But if you wait, it is a problem. I mean, Allah, we know all this way. Turn around, Bonan. What? No, Tosis is, is learning like the Gemara here. He says, if you wait too long, it's a problem. He says, if you wait too long, it's a problem. But sometimes the Chazan starts saying things. Yeah, he starts Chazonus. Yeah, you have to wait for him before you go further. <laughs> before the, so you didn't say, Gaul, you're in the middle of Birch's Krishma. So the time period is too long. So he says, you're right, it, it is too long. He says, so you have to make sure that it shouldn't be the amount of time that you can finish the whole Shema. If it's the amount of time that you can finish the whole Shema, it'll be a problem. You know, we had earlier that they blew, they blew the bless on a fast day also. A fast day, one, let's say, right? Let's say you blow part of the tekiyos. You don't blow all the tekiyos. It's not a problem. Because there, there's no set amount that you have to blow. So whatever you blow, blow. Right? And the, whatever brochs you say, because the time is also not makvazezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezezez
So when I give you the 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 the, the motion, blow. That that you associate the the tkiya with the shmon esrei that's only if it's if it's in a minion, but if you're davening individually, then you don't do it. Okay, Rashi says. An individual, you say the whole shmon esrei, v'akach. Then you blow afterwards, which you have to blow. Tanya Nami Hochi, Kshu Shoman, Shoman Al Seder, Val Seder Brochos. He says that we have a Brysa which supports this. Not as Rav Popper by Shmuel It's like Rav said. It says you hear it according to the order of Brochos. The Medvar Amurim, when do you hear it? When are the, the Tkiyos associated with the Brochos? Bechavir, that means when you, Chav means a Chabura. The group, there's a group, there's a minion in the Tzibur. But if you're davening privately, Shoman al Seder, Shal al Seder, Brochus. Either way is okay, but it's not a must. The must afterwards has the same value like hearing it during the Shema Nesri. The individual who didn't blow for himself, somebody else blows for him. You don't have to blow to show for yourself. Meaning, it's not a Shemitz Shibaguf, twilling. Somebody else can't put on twilling for you. Right, but this you have to blow. You, you can have somebody else blow for you. Yochet shlo birech. What about shmon esrei? The shmon esrei. No, ain't chaver. We're talking about a person who can. Let's say you can blow. I can blow. Show you can be most. It's not a problem. But, but when it comes to saying the brachos of the shmon esrei, you you're literate. You have to say it yourself. Somebody else can be most you. What? Charos shots is not for you. That's for other people. If a person, let's say, is sick, he can't, he can't, that's something else. But if a person could say it himself, somebody else cannot cover him. Okay? So therefore... Right, right. Right. The Yochid but an individual, and Chavir HaMavorech Olam. O mitzvahs, O mitzvah betokin, Yosem in HaMavorechim. What does that mean? Ketzad. Shtei, there's a greater mitzvah token than Mavorechim. I mean, we'll see... Let's say a person knows he goes to a certain town, he definitely will have to keep a chauffeur. Right. Another town will have a minion. This is Eshmon but they have a chauffeur. Right? One town, they have a, you have a chauffeur, the other town, you have, you have, a, you have, a, you have a minion to, to say Musaf. Hochemok she token, of course. Hochemokim she borchim. So it's Pshita. Hoda Raisa Drabonon. Is it even a question? Kei Shov is the Raisa. Even though the chauffeur is questionable if they have a chauffeur there. You don't know if you definitely. So you may end up with nothing. You don't have A, you don't have B. So maybe you say you go where it's, it's a sure thing, the Tzibur. It's the Doraisa Lechumra. It's in Sovik Doraisa Lechumra. You go where the Doraisa is. Right? Doraisa Lechumra is He says, even though you know that, but maybe they already left. You come after after Kia Shofar. Here Rashi says, They already went home. By the time you come, it's, it's after the show, so to say. Okay? You know, they tell the story many years ago, you know, in the shuls on the Lower East Side, you know, people had to bring a ticket to show that they paid for the seat. So they used to have an Irish cop who would stand by the door and watch, check the tickets. If he would catch you without a ticket, he'd break, he'd break your bones, the Irish cop. It was no big deal in those days. All cops were Irishmen. So th this little boy, the father forgot something. So the little boy comes to, uh, to shul. He says, you know, I would like to bring something to my father. He says, he says, do you have a ticket? He says, no. He says, but I'm not, I'm not praying him. Just gonna, he says, if I catch you praying, I'll break every bone in your body. <laughs> Okay. Now the question: The Musaf, as an individual, is Musaf the Takon of Musaf when he alleged? Is it only uh, the Shlich Tzibur says Musaf? It's not an, in, uh, an obligation on the individual, or no? It's an obligation on the um, individual also on the Tzibur. Either way. 
Okay. Tanya Omru Lo Rem Gamliel Le Dvorecho Lo Matzib Mispali. So it says, according to you, that the chiyuv is only on the shlich tzibur. So why did the individuals daven? Omalev kdei lahaz the shlich tzibur tefiloso to give him time to arrange his in his mind his tefilah to prepare him for the what? Omalev ram gamliel the devrechan lo mashlich tzibur yori lefnei atevo. Again, the Mishnah said, two seconds. The Mishnah before, um, where is it? Over here. It says. There you go. The Mishnah, the Mishnah, the Mishnah. Yeah, here, 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 here it says. Tanakama says, As the Shlich Tzib must say it, so he says, but if the Shlich Tzib is Motsi, what, what, are you, what are the individuals? He says, to co- to, so the Shlich Tzib should be able to set in order it. Rabbi Leo says, Shlich Tziba Motsi is a rabbi. No, the individuals don't say. They don't say Musa. He's Motsi. The way they originated the Takona, they're there. You hear the Shlich Tziba say the, mm-hmm. the Musa. Okay? Not, not the Shachris, the Musa. So that's what we're talking about now. Excuse me, let's see. Amr Lo, let's say, Rabbi Leo, according to you, that the Chiv is only on the Shlich Tziba or Vechlom Atsib Mispalin. Amalem Kedei, Lahazdi Shlich Tziba Tfiloso. Rabbi Leo says, according to you, that the chiv is on the individual. What do we need? What do we need? Chazor mm-hmm. sashats. Because he has to cover the person who's, who's illiterate. We said the old discussions. If you can say it yourself, then then he then. No. Once he's ready, he, he he covers the one who's not literate. He covers even the one who is literate. He holds, even if you could daven yourself, he could still be motzi. Omer Rabbi Bachonam Rabbi Yochanan Modem Chamul Rabbi Gliel. The Rabbi Yochanan says that the Chum Kol Rabbi Gliel. Rabbi Madain Himachlokus. No, they're they're, they're arguing. Shomer Rabbi Chia Brei the Rabbi Bachonani. Omer Ozal Omer Shmaitz to come to Rabbi Dimi Bar Chino Omer Lehochi Omer Rav. He's tell Daini Machlok. Still an argument. That even though you have a shlich tzibur, the individual still has to say the Shimon Esri himself. Okay? Not like the Chachomim. Oma le Rabbi Bachon and Nami. Oma le Rabbi Bachon and Nami Oma Hochi. Ki Oma Rabbi Yochan and Lo Shmaitza. If the Galeri Shlokish. Originally, Rabbi Yochan concurs with Rav. Concurs with the Rav that it's a Machlokis. That a person who's literate cannot be covered by the shlich tzibur. And he says, "Ki Omer Rabbi Yochanan lo shmaitz if the galay the Reish Lokish Reish Lokish argued with him, but by Daini Machlokus, meaning Rabbi Yochanan originally said it, but Reish Lokish says no, it's incorrect." Omi Amar Rabbi Chonah, Omi Rabbi Chonah, Omi Rabbi Chonah, Mitzipor Omi Rabbi Hilsuk Rabbi Gamliel, right? Rabbi Yochanan says we rule like Rabbi Gamliel. So if you tell, if if there's no argument, what do we rule like Rabbi Gamliel? So Mr. Hilsa, the connotation of Hilsa means Bechal de Pligi. Evidently, they're arguing, right? So how could you say, Rabbi Yochum says, there is no machlo, because he says, we rule like Rabbi Gamliel. Ki solak rab abo mimei. Yeah. When Rabbi Abba returned from, uh, from an uh, overseas uh, sea voyage, Pirshi, he explained it. Moldim chachom Rabbi Gamliel bebrochi shol Rosh Hashanah shalim iti purim. Yeah. The chachomim kukur Rabbi Gamliel regarding the Shimon Esrei of Rosh Hashanah Kippur. That the shlich tzibur could be mostly the people. One second, ba'alocha mechal de pligi bebrochus, alocha mechal de pligi bebrochus to kol So you know, so what does it mean? So what we rule that we rule a I mean they agree, they all concur regarding roshanim kibbutz davening. That because you know, we're not used to that, but the shmon esri of all year, that's where the that's we they argue, and nevertheless we rule like a ramliel. That the shlich tzibur can. Be motzi, right. okay? The more zini, how could you say that? Vom Rav Chana Tzipora Omer Rabbi Yochanan Halok Rabbi Gamliel Bebroch Shor Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippurim. That's what Rabbi Yochanan said. Rabbi Yochanan didn't say that we rule like him regarding the, the, the yearly Shimon Esrei. He said specifically regarding the Shimon Esrei Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. El Omer Rav Nachman Yitzchok Man Modim 
Remeir. When it says they, they concur, it's not speaking the Chacham. It's Remeir. Ve'alochem mechlal de Peligi Rabbonon. Remeir concurs. Or Amulio. But the Chachamim, they argue. The Tanya. Brochus or Roshani Mkibirim Shlich Tziba Motsi Yisrami Dei Chobos and Dei Remeir. Yeah? The Brochus of Roshani Mkibir Shlich Tziba could be Motsi the people, their obligation. Chachamim, no. Shem she Shlich Tziba Chayiv ka kol yochid v'yochid chayiv. No. Even Roshani Mkibir. They argue that only, that they, everybody has to say his own Shemun. We're talking about somebody who's literate. Somebody who's literate. Maish no Hani. So, so Rameir is only saying only Rosh Hashanah Kippur. Why not the Shimon Esriyev during the year? Is it because there's so many psukim, you know, in the Shimon Esri of, 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 of Yom Kippur? Malchis is saying endless psukim. Ten psukim for Malchis, we had earlier. Ten psukim for Zachron. So there's so many psukim. So it's so difficult, you know, so that's what we, we, we allow, even the person who's literate, he could be covered shlich tzibur during the year. You don't have psukim; it's just a request. Okay. Vomer Rav Chana Anel Omer Rav Kevu Shomu B'Torosu Chosel Leimu Shuvein Utzorich. Yeah, even if you said only B'Torosu Chosel, you don't even, even if the evidence if you don't say the psukim yotzei. So if that's the case, you don't have to say the psukim. So why does Rameir differentiate between Rosh Hashanah and Kippur? You could be covered, and during the year you cannot be covered. Elimshum the Avshe Brochos. What's Avshe Brochos? The Avshi Brochos. The Avshi. The Avshi. The Grot takes the word Brochos. What's the Avshi? Sharekan Teshev Aruchos. Umatos that are called Bekimen. Like I said originally. During the year we dive in day, day in and day out. So people are fluent. Even if you're literate, you're not that fluent. It's more difficult. So therefore, mayor says, Roshanim Kippur, everybody agrees. That's, that's not a problem. Even if you're literate, being literate, you're semi-illiterate. During the year that you dive three times a day, the same nusach, this the same text, therefore, that's why he cannot be cover you. Gufa Amrav Khan Omarav Kev Shomar Tosko Kosov Lemo Shuven Tsorch. You say that Sovmi Noyahani Mili Biochit. When is that? Originally understood when Rav Khanel says name Rav, we only say Torosh Kosov Lemor. That's only if you pray as an individual, I will be tzibur lo, but the shlich tzibur, he has to say the psukim. Itmar, Omer Reb Shubin Levi, Echod Yochder, tzibur. Now, Shubin Levi says, it makes a difference whether it's an individual or a tzibur. Kei Shom Torah, so kosev leim, or shvein atzorich. Omer Reb Loz, Lolom Yazde, Odin Tvilos, Vakach Yispalio. That before you dump for the Omer, you have to really review it, that you should be able to say it, right? Omer Rebbe, you know it's interesting. Side in the halach, even if you daven from a sitter, for instance, I'll give you an example. A person normally davens no sachashkenas, right? So before you, and now they ask you to go over to the omer. You don't have to pray. You always, well, let's say you don't have ashkenas, and it's a svard minion. So the halachi is, what do you do when you pray your private shmon esrei? Do you pray it no svard, or you do it ashkenas? You should do it svard. The private one. So because that's a prep. Because you really you're not you're not that fluent in what yeah. the, what they do. No, always, always. That's the halach. Always, that we always because you always have to. That's olam yazdi odin tefilas achim spal. You always have to arrange it. Make right. Om rebabim istavrim nusli rebelozer bebrachu shal roshani yipurim shal brachu. That's only true by brachu of course that you're not accustomed to. Well, yeah, we don't say it. Avod chol shalolo. You don't. Ini vom rav yudah misadet slu say matzli. No, we find. By Rav Yudah, even during the year, Shem Rav Yudah came to be close in Yom, close in Yom, and having matli, he only prayed once in 30 days, because it was Torah Naso. So therefore, only once a month he would pray. So therefore, it's like he has into it. He only prays in intervals. But a person prays day in and day out. You don't have to prepare it before you say the Shema Nesri. Only Rosh Hashanah Kippur. Omer of Achim Bar Avira, Omer of Shem Chasida, Poter, Hoyram Lil Afilu, Amshem Basodos. That. We, we cover even those people who can't make the shul, the shlich tzibur, he covers them. Lobi boy handed the kaimi hocha. Not only does he cover the people, Rabbi hold you cover the people in shul, they don't have to do their own shmon esrei, but even the people who are not even in shul. Ajar bahani anisi, what kind of comparison is it? The ones who are in the field, they're onus, they have no choice, they couldn't make it to shul. Hani lo anisi. Maybe the ones in shul could daven themselves, daven yourself. The ones that are not here, then I said he can't. 
The Tony Abba Breder of Rebbe Yomim Barchio Am Shachori Akohanim Einu Bchalal Brocha. Interesting. Like Birchus Kohanim in Yeshua. The halach is the the people have to face the Kohanim. Yeah. If the people turn their back to Kohanim, you're, you're not a, you're not a beneficiary of the Brocha. Yeah. So you say, what about people who who didn't make it to Shul? Are they facing the Kohanim? No, there's a difference. Th but they're not facing the Kohanim. So we may, we say because they're not here, they're, they're beneficiaries. The one who say who could face the Kohanim, you don't, no. you're not. You have to face. So that's he's saying the same thing. The one who's out in the field who couldn't make it, he's covered with Shlir Tzibur. The one who say could pray himself, pray yourself. Right? Edim Chabrocha Eloki, Osir Rovin, Omer of Yaakov, Aridi, Omer of Shimach, Asid, Lopod, Ramulil, Elo, Abshev, Sodos, the other way. Where did Ramulil said, say his halacha that the Shlir Tzibur covers others, right? That's only if they didn't make it to Shul. By time of Bishum Dan Isi Bimlocha. Because they're tied up with their work, they couldn't make it in. Avobir, lo, but the ones who are present here who could daven themselves, you got to do it yourself. So, so, uh, so